Hello, my name's Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install Nako DB on Casa OS using Big Bear Casa OS. It's a third party app store. So, a little bit about this series I'm going over Home Labs, we're installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel, and let's get started. I wanted to let y'all know about the Big Bear community. We just launched a uh, community on community.bigbeartechworld.com. It's based on Discourse. So go on there, join it, and uh, say hi. So let's get back to your registered programming. So this is what we'll be installing today. Build da a databases, add spreadsheets, no coding required. This is what it looks like, and um, how it works is not going to be, uh, and then connects to any of this, and then it stores the data in there as spreadsheets, versatile views and data, and then list use cases, CRM, project management, uh, operations, inventory management. So. That's a little bit about Nako DB. So a little bit about Big Bear Cost OS is it's a third party app store maintained by Big Bear Tech World and the Big Bear community. Um, it, it has quite a few apps in it and Nako DB is in it. Um, I did do a how to video on how to install it in Cost OS, but I'm gonna go over it in this video as well. You will need Cost OS 0.4.4 newer. So I'm gonna go over here to App Store URL up here. I'm gonna copy it, and then I'm gonna go to my Casa OS and get the App Store installed. So I'm gonna start out on Casa OS. I'm gonna go to App Store, and then I'm gonna go over to Add Source right here. I'm going to paste it in, and then I'm gonna press Add. Now we've added the store in there, Big Bear Casa OS, and we have 119 apps. So we can go over here uh, and see the category, but we'll have to do a refresh before we can see it. Go back in the App Store, go to here, and then Big Bear Cost OS is showing now. Click it, and then now you see all the apps in the App Store. And how you know that they're coming from Big Bear Cost OS is they'll have the category right here, Big Bear Cost OS. So now I'm going to start out on Big Bear Cost OS. There will be a link down in the YouTube description to get to this. I'm going to go into Apps. And then I'm going to scroll down to um, NACODB right, right here. And then now I'm going to go to Docker Compose. So the Cost OS app name is called uh, Big Bear uh, NACODB. Then the services, and then service underneath the service called app. And then the image is coming off Docker Hub because you know that because there's no year before this. This is the image. This is the Docker tag, the latest tag. Container name is going to be NACODB. The restart policy is going to be unless stopped. So if you stop it for any reason, it will not try to restart. But if it fails or any other reason, then it will try to restart. And um, we're going to set some environment variables. We're going to set it for the da database down here. And this should rhyme with this right here. Because what this is going to do is this service right here is going to connect to this database right here. Store the data in here. Um, so the ports are 8080 on the ho host side, and then the container is 8080. Now, if this does collide with another port on your host, you can change it. And I'm going to set some volumes, so data, app data, and then dynamic variable, which is gotten from the name up here, and then um, a data. So this is on the host side, and this is on the containers. So USR source app data is on the container side. So X Casa OS information. So it's going to explain the volume and the ports for Casa OS. And then the database service right here is right underneath the services. And um, the image is coming from Postgres. And then it's coming from Docker Hub. And there's no year before this. The ta uh, tag is 13, the Docker tag. And then restart always means that if you stop it or anything else, it'll always restart. And the environment variables should be the same as up here. And then the volume is data, app data, dynamic variable, which is coming from the name up here. And then PG data. So this is on the host side. 
And this is on the container side, so var lib PostgreSQL, and then um, a, da a data. The X cost OS information explaining the volume right here. And then the X cost information explaining the app. So architectures that are supported on this image right here are AMD64 and ARM64. The main rhymes with this app uh, uh, up here underneath ser uh, services. And then uh, description for the store, tagline, the developer of the actual app, the developer of the Docker Compose, the icon being used, the thumbnail, the title, the category so you can find all the apps in Big Bear Cost OS, and the port map is 8080. And this rhymes with this up here, this port. So that's a little bit about the Docker Compose. So I wanted to let you know uh, about the Big Bear Club. Uh, 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 you can join it, and it greatly supports this channel, and I very much appreciate it. So uh, if you'd like to join the Big Bear Club, you can go down in the YouTube description and uh, go to my Ko-Fi link and join it from there. So let's get back to registered programming. So now we will go ahead and s install the app. So we're going to start on Cost OS, the dashboard. I go to App Store, and then go to Search, uh, Anaco. A DB right here, and you know it's from Big Bear Cost OS because it's this category. So you can go into it, you can press install. Now it's installing it, it's downloading off of the registry, getting it uh, extracted, getting it set up with Docker uh, Compose. So I'm going to continue in background, let it do its thing, and then it's downloading your uh, image, it's checking the cache, and you can see it's up and running. So now we're going to go over the container options. So you, you go to the app, you go to this vertical dots right here. Then you can open into the web UI. You can set some tips. It's kind of like a notepad. You can go down your e edit button and type in here. And then press the save button. It'll reload the container. And then it says NACODB is okay. So we can go back into the vertical dots. Go to tips now. You can see it did save. You can go in the settings. You can change some settings down here. Press the save button. You can also do it on the DB and press the save button. Um, now you can also go up the terminal logs. You can have a terminal straight in the container and you can see that it's uh, in the container now. You can see the logs, great for debugging. And you can uh, export the Docker Compose. And then you can X out of here. So check for updates on the current tag it's on. It won't change the tag and you can uninstall, restart, and power off and on. So now I'm gonna go over the files. So I'm gonna go in the files app and go to app data, Big Bear Naco DB right here. You can check mark this. You can download, copy, cut, delete, and cancel. You can also go over here to the, uh, the horizontal dots. You can download, copy path, rename, cut, copy, share, and delete. You can go into it and you can see the da a database uh, folder and you can see the data folder. So that's a little bit about the files. So now I'm gonna go in the UI. So you can go to this open right here or you can go up here to open. So it's now gonna want you to create an account. So you can just put a email in and then a password in and then press sign up okay now it's just like a regular uh a database table you can go in here you can just put some testing and then you can say a username and then say field and you, you get how it is to where you can go out here and create more tables uh, columns and then um, you can also go to the team settings you can go to profile and API tokens and then the app store the user management reset password settings and you can go over here to sign out you can change your language you can go back and then you can have your tables. You can put a grid, a form, a gallery, a Kanban, 
and then you can create a new view and um, you can go down here and you can have more options a log out help center join uh, the discord uh, the languages again and the copy auth token and then the account settings and then you can also see details to where you can go over here you can see relations API and web, web hooks you can create a web hook you can also um, test the web hook right here you can also share so that's a little about the UI so I just went over step by step on getting NacoDB running on Casa OS using Big Bear Casa OS third party app store so if you like this tutorial subscribe comment like and support the channel and if you have any video suggestions or need community support, you can go down to the uh, Big Bear community and join our discourse. There's a link in the YouTube description, so stay tuned for more.